Um, switching on to some 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 Black Lives Matter type shit, man. Yeah. Um, we know Colin Kaepernick last year mm-hmm. for the 49ers. Um, uh, what it was, sat down for the national anthem, then ended up kneeling for the national anthem mm-hmm. in hopes of bringing light to mm-hmm. police brutality and you know people getting killed by the police and this, that, and the third. So yeah. something that kind of sparked a little firestorm and a lot of different NFL players started doing it. And uh, also other players of other major sports started doing it as well. Mm-hmm. So now fast forward to now, mm-hmm. um, Kaepernick has been pretty much blackballed. Mm-hmm. So he hasn't been signed for an NFL team yet. 32 different, excuse me, 30, 32 different NFL teams. Mm-hmm. None of them decided to pick him up, not even as a backup. Uh-huh. So they feel like he's being blackballed. Um, before we get to the story, do you feel like he's being black, blackballed? No, nah, because, I mean, he had a, a a bad season, especially towards the end of the season last year. He had a, you know what I mean? He had a terrible performance. Well, I don't really watch too much football, right? Mm-hmm. And from what, I, from what I heard in the articles that I saw, yes, he did have bad performances. Mm-hmm. But I guess – what other people would say is a couple years before, two or three years before, he led San Francisco to pretty much within five, ten yards of a, of a, of a Super Bowl. Yeah, but that's what that's under a different um, coaching staff mm-hmm. that would that was catered to his skill set. Yeah. So and with that that coaching staff not in play, mm-hmm. it wasn't working out for him. Got you. Got you. So. With that being said, do you think he's that bad of a quarterback to where thirty-two teams would say to themselves, like, "Yo, we don't need that cat on his on on our team"? No, because I've seen other players like look at Tim Tebow. Tim Tebow was garbage, yeah, but he got mad chances. Mm-hmm. Like I feel like so, you know, he did he did um he he could have gotten a chance. He could have gotten a chance to sit as a backup uh, quarterback. Mm-hmm. You know, on some teams that so yeah, yeah I feel like as though he, he's potentially being blackballed. So, yeah, okay, all right. So you, you feel like he should be signed somewhere, should. even if he's sitting on the bench somewhere, he should be signed. Should as a should as a what as uh, a backup backup quarterback? I don't. I mean, like I wouldn't want him, but however, like you know, it's it's a possibility he could have been. Is mm-hmm. what I'm saying. I, don't, I wouldn't. I wouldn't take him. So I, I, I guess the question I'm asking is: mm. Are there 32 backup quarterbacks in the league better than Colin Kaepernick right now? Yeah. And like I said, I don't really watch football like right, that, right. so I can't really, I can't answer that question. Yeah. But are there, you know? And I guess that's a question for people that check out. I mean, the yeah, because he, he, he did, he did go high. I, I think he did draft. Uh, I forgot what his draft pick was when he yeah. came into the league. So he was sought after. Yeah. So I mean, at this point, like uh, the potential, somebody has seen the potential of him before he got into the league. So mm-hmm. you know, barring one and a half bad season, that shouldn't be the the yeah. clear indicator to say. And I mean, know. given the right coach, given the right situation, given the right offense, all yeah. that stuff, you know, that probably narrow it down a little bit. But at the end of the day, for, like I said, from what I see of him, mm-hmm. from what I've been hearing, from what I know about him in his past, yeah. I feel like there's not 32. I've seen some garbage ass quarterbacks, bro. Right, right. right. I've seen some garbage ass quarterbacks. Absolutely. If, if as tall. a as a as a non NFL fan, right. so I don't know. I feel like he's being blackballed, and yeah. I feel like he should be able to pick up a roster spot on some kind of team. Um, but but with that being said, now so mm. um, what's his name? Sean uh, the the the, the Popular dude from Black Lives Matter, mm-hmm. Sean King, I believe his name is. Mm-hmm. He's proposing that, uh, I guess, not just black people. I don't know if he said just black people, mm-hmm. but he's pro- pro- proposing that we um, boycott the NFL. Mm-hmm. So I guess that means not go to any games, mm-hmm. not watch any games, mm-hmm. don't buy any merchandise. You know, pretty much boycott the NFL. How you feel about that shit? Okay, listen. Um, because he he wanted to boycott the NFL because of them blackballing Kaepernick. Okay, all right. So yeah, first of all, there's. I mean, I you made a you 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 try to make a good case as to him being a backup quarterback somewhere, but we're talking about a backup quarterback. We're not talking about 
You know well, what I'm saying? Well, I mean, even, even, even possible starter. But that could be anybody. I could be possible starter. You see what I'm saying? That's, that's like talking about giving somebody a chance. It's taking talking about investing millions of dollars in somebody because I mean you don't necessarily got to give football players don't get paid shit anyway. But who? What? A lot of a lot of football. It's a it's a couple of them that get paid, man. I mean, and when I say I mean, com- paid, comparative com- in comparison, com- okay. in compare to basketball, right? So I guess or, my, my, you know, my baseball. My point of it of it is this: it's not like I said. It's it's not like. They're talking about, you know what I'm saying? It's not like it, 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 it was like Donovan McNabb. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's mm-hmm. not like he's, you know what I mean, that much of a, a, a performer where we could say, like, he belongs in the NFL. Like, but, for sure, without, 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 without a doubt. Now, I hear you trying to make that point. Yeah. But, but that's, 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 a, that's a forced point, I feel. Like, you, anybody could try to make that point. However, it's like, based on the performance and based on the need of, uh, of my team, like, I, if I don't want him, I don't want him. But I'm guessing what they're saying is the rumblings behind closed doors is that we don't want to bring him on our team because, because of, it's going to be a distraction. Because people is going to say, oh, you know, this dude doesn't support him. He's anti-American, blah, 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 blah. All right. So, I mean, how many? I forgot how many plays is on an uh, NFL team, but there's plenty of the black players on this team. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah. all right, like, if I don't want that on my team, like, I'm not saying, like, first of all, like, all right, okay, I've been decided to take a knee. However... Mm-hmm. How deep do I know about Ka- Ka- uh, that's Kaepernick, Kaepernick gold as a civil rights? Well, I mean, person? like, it, how, do, how how deep is it for him? I don't know. I've seen a lot of different things that he has done. Mm-hmm. Um, he had pledged a million dollars. Um, he broke it down to exactly how he would spend the money, mm. and he's pretty much showing how he was, he was spending the money. Like the, the most recent thing that I saw him do mm. was stand out in front of a courthouse and pretty much give suits to, um, I guess, people that was going to the courthouse. Right, but was like he that. doing all that bef- prior to all the police shooting, pull up the police shooting, become public, and all that? Was, um, was he doing all that? I'm not sure if he was doing that prior, but mm. at the same time. Who are, who are we speaking up? Uh, speaking up about that? Who are we? Who are we to decide how and when a mm-hmm. motherfucker get woke? I because mean, some, but because sometimes time, yeah. some, it, it could be a situation where these police shootings had to happen for him to really say that. You know what, man? I feel like I can make a difference with this. All shit. right, but yeah, even even still, you're right. You're right. But at the same time, like I want to know what your level of woke is. Like you can't just wake up one day and like, man, fuck all this shit. Like do some research. See how how deep the, the wormhole goes, and then you know what I'm saying. Speak on that I versus can't. just saying, "I, right, you know what, man? I don't know if you're smoking out with your homeboys, man. Like, fuck these crackers, man. They ain't, they ain't supporting us, man. I'm gonna take a knee tomorrow." And you took that, and then you, you're running with that. Well, you're like saying said, you're running with that line right now. Like I said, I haven't been following him that much to say, "All right, you know, Kaepernick did this, yeah, X, Y, and Z, or whatever, whatever." Mm. But it seems like he's really, really dedicated to the shit at this point. Mm. Um, like I said, the suits. Um, I think he had uh, he, he he had got together a, a plane full of mm. um, goods or whatever to deliver it to somewhere in Africa. Um, he has like different charities and has stuff like that. Has anyone interviewed Kaepernick um, since all this went down? What is he saying? I'm pretty sure somebody has interviewed him, but it wasn't like a major publication that's gonna shed light on what he's doing that's positive because well, not, not, at the not, end of the day not on the positive th- things that he's doing but however about him feeling like he does, he's not in the team has he spoken up about this not that i know of mm-hmm. not that i know of but what what the, the consensus is is that he's a more than capable football player mm-hmm. he's able he's able to start on an nfl team he's able to lead an nfl team he's able to be a backup quarterback mm-hmm. in the league and according to his skill set, listening to different commentators and reading different articles and stuff like that, mm-hmm. he is more than capable of being an NFL quarterback. Mm-hmm. He doesn't suck to the point where it's like, yo, we can't understand why this dude is, is, is not on the NFL team. Or why he doesn't suck to the point where it's like, this dude shouldn't be on the NFL team. Oh, what I'm saying is like, all right, look. And, and like I said, this is not my, my, my point on the fly. However, like, I don't think Colin Kaepernick should stop. This shouldn't stop him from being, you know what I'm saying, an uh, activist in the black community. Matter of fact, this is the most but, time 
you need to step up more and do more. But let, I need to see that type of action before I start supporting and say, yo, we're going to boycott the NFL because this is a righteous person and this person is, you know what I'm saying, upstanding. I don't know, bro. And that's what I'm but saying. I'm saying I, 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 people take shit and they run with that limelight. And I yeah. feel like that knee shit was a limelight that he gotten. You know and, what I'm saying? And what I'm telling you is that since he did that, he has ran with it. He has put his money where his mouth is. Because so of all America has been, the spotlight has been brought on you. There's been other players that took me, but they haven't, you know what I'm saying, that spotlight exactly. really hasn't been highlighted on him. Exactly. He was the first to do it. Kick the door and, down. And it was, he, was the, it, he was the biggest deal. Yeah. So now, like, yo, shit, I, I'm here. Like, I might as well, you know what I'm saying, do more. But I want to see how far you willing to take this, bro. Before I start saying like, yo, we need to start boycotting NFL where there's more black players in the league than anybody else. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I guess what 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 this dude is saying is that yeah. like uh, the point I'm trying to make is that he's a more than a capable of, of, of being a, a, an NFL right, quarterback, so what, and they're blackballing him because he is standing up for black folks. It's like that's the reason because, okay, we don't want him on our team because it's going to be a distraction. We don't want him on our team because, and, and behind closed doors, they're saying that NFL owners have said this. Mm -hmm. We don't want him on our team because of the distraction. We don't want him on our team because the fans are going to, you know, say he's anti-American and he's this and he's that. And right. It's, it's but going to be a big deal. I, I, listen, I kind of side with them a little bit on that because, listen, man, at the end of the day, look, yeah, it, it, it's important to, you know what I'm saying, uh, go for civil rights and, you know what I mean, fight for the black community. However, man, listen, this is this is my baby. This is my money. Mm -hmm. You don't get to do that with my money mm -hmm. without coming to me and asking me yeah. if that's cool. You know what I'm saying? This is my business. This is my money. It's my establishment. You don't get to just do that. Okay. On the flip side, you as the owner don't get to decide when I decide to, to, to be an activist. You, yeah. don't, you don't get to decide when I meet, when I can speak up about what issues that I feel is important. No, but you can speak up, but you're, you're doing that while you're playing on my field. Hey. No, it ain't hey, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, it ain't hey. I'm like, like I get people don't, don't kill me. But at the same time, like, bro, this is, this is my thing. So I'm not saying like, yo, maybe they're looking at it like, yo, look, you know what? Like, you're right, homeboy. But at the same time, like you're fucking up my shit. People ain't coming to my games. But People what? ain't buying tickets to my shit. Okay, so you see what I'm saying? As so a, you, you're, you're dropping my stocks. Oh, I, I feel what you're saying as the owner. But me as the activist is looking at it and saying, okay, fuck your stocks. Okay, fuck who's coming to your games. So I feel like fuck out of my I league. feel like I feel like human life mm -hmm. is more important than the money that you're making. Okay. At the end of the day, you're still gonna be a billionaire. Okay. You're still going to have people to come to your game. Okay. You're still going to have X, Y, and Z. True. But I need to be a voice for my people. I need to speak out for this mm. so that it's heard and accepted and people know about this shit. And I need to try to make a difference in the situation. Mm. So which one? I mean, you Good. you focused on do your that money. out there. You okay. So, but, but look at how he did it, though. Uh -huh. By taking a knee, bro. Okay, but that taking a knee, like I said, while the act is honorable, mm -hmm. it's still within the owner's right to say, look, man, I, I don't want that here because of the distraction it's bringing. I and, don't want and, it. And, 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 and that's the thing. Mm -hmm. Your thing as an owner is you, you want to make money first, right. but at the same time, you want to win. So mm -hmm. if what... The, the, the consensus is that this player is capable of making your team a winner. Mm -hmm. If that's what he's capable of doing, why not sign him? Why is, why 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 yeah, put the distraction in your head like that? He has a, se a, 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 a full season and a half to show me that he's not winning right now. Well, the team sucked. But he's not winning. His performance was shitty. The team sucked. They didn't have no old exceptions. It, you know, he was under pressure. He's you know causing I mean? a lot of turnovers. I, I'm just saying, the perception is he's not good right now. Maybe, okay, so I'm, I'm taking two, that's two gambles I'm taking on this dude. Mm -hmm. uh, two, two gambles. The, the gamble of him, you know what I'm saying, go ahead and, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, protest 
on my field, causing mm-hmm. that distraction, and then the next thing is he's not going to perform. Mm-hmm. So that's double jeopardy for him. Mm-hmm. It could be. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is like I I, I could get to the or point where, or mm-hmm. he could bring you to a Super Bowl again. Right, but it's like that's that's a that's a wild hypothetical, not based on the evidence that I'm seeing. But <laughs> you know what when, when, everything is a risk, man. Everything okay. is a risk. Tom Brady, even though he just won Super Bowl, greatest quarterback in history. Yeah. It's a possibility that in this season he can come out and he'd be old ass Tom Brady right. and he'd be garbage as fuck. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's always a risk that you take it. It's always a risk. I hear you. So I, hear you. But I, I guess I guess basically the point I'm trying to make is mm-hmm. look at the upside and say this guy is more than capable of contributing positively to my team. Positively. Why Positively, mm-hmm. I'm talking about as far as being a winning player, um, having the, the, the people in the locker room rally around you. Like you said, it's majority black folks yeah, that's playing. Wait, but there's majority black folks, but are they all in agreement with this? No, I do not. You, you you can't tell me all those players. Most of those players, don't, you know what I'm saying, don't give a I, fuck about this. My thing would be, why wouldn't they be? Why wouldn't they be? Because of the lifestyle and the luxury that they get to live. This mm-hmm. is not a concern for them. I don't have to. Not look, every black person is concerned about looking well, at Jason Collins. You know what I'm saying? Like, not every black person is concerned about anybody else but I, themselves. I agree with you. I agree with you. But at the same time, it's not like because he's playing on the team, you have to stick your neck out for him. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I could, behind closed doors, be like, yo, man. Kyle, I'm not rock with you, bro. I'm just not going to say it public because I don't want to be in the situation that you're in right now. But I mean, I'm not going to you the asses, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You ain't getting the passes. <laughs> Fuck you, baby. Fuck you, baby. <laughs> you ain't got them passes. Look, man, I, look, like I said, man, I wish he was a better, I wish he was a better performer over the last two years than he was. Then I would really say, okay, All yeah. Right. I, it's just, it's just, you look, there's a, there's a chance However, they, they've made it too too great for me to say for sure. This is why he's out of the league, A. And B, for me to say I'm a boycott the league, that's a, there's a lot of other black players in the league. All right, so not even, let's kind of get off of that. Mm-hmm. One, specifically, why mm-hmm. the boycott that, that Sean King is asking for. Mm-hmm. Is, are black folks about that, though? About in, what? In 2017, are we about boycotting anything? No. No. I think that's the bigger question. That you right. That is the bigger question. That's that's really the bigger question that we when we discussed um boycotting those business last week. I, I was really trying to generate that kind of point where I was like, yo, yeah. we, we ain't about that. We ain't about that no more. Because we thinking about ourselves individually. We're selfish, we, yeah. And not thinking about ourselves as a whole. Exactly. It's 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 about that come up, it's about looking the part more and so feel, is about and, and I feel like I feel like that too because sometimes I look at different issues, right? And mm-hmm. I say I consider myself on the woke scale. Mm-hmm. I would say I'm about sixty percent woke, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. But at the end of the day, man, I'm looking at my family first, right? I'm looking to preserve my family first, right? So, yes, certain things as far as boycotting the NFL, I would, I would, I could do that. Like, because I don't watch football anyway. Right. So, so I don't buy any NFL products and, mm-hmm. you know, doing all that stuff. So if that, you know what I mean? If I felt if I felt like this cause was worthy of mm-hmm. me doing that, I could do it. Yeah. But I guess when it comes down to certain things, man, you don't want to see a family struggle. You don't want to see a family go through unnecessary hardships. Mm-hmm. And even though sometimes it might be for the better good of, your people. It might be even for, I'm, I, I play devil's advocate because I kind of believe this point too. It might be even for the betterment of your child himself if we were like that because they need to see strong strength being displayed. And if we did take that part and say, yo, you know what, man? Fuck it. I'm going to go against the green. You know what I'm saying? Fuck it. They, they're trying to kick me down. They're trying to drag my son down too. But hey, son, listen. This is why this is happening to us. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like, you know, we might, you know what I'm saying, we could grow 
to that position of strength where we were back in the, you know what I'm saying, the civil rights era where, you know, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X and all of them were fighting for us. You know what I mean? That gave, you know what I mean, black people that, that strength to say, you know what, they are right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I could get behind that. However, we're not doing that no more. I agree. We're not doing that. We're not empowering ourselves to do that anymore. And uh, like I said, man, it, it depends on the cause. It depends on what exactly we're right. doing. Mm -hmm. You know, some, and, and, and you got you to gotta think about it. Because like, let's just say the other day they proposed, like, you know, everybody called out of work at a certain time. Mm -hmm. or, yeah, I think it was, uh, what's his name, Southern Washington, the dude that was on like, Grey's Anatomy and some shit. Mm -hmm. um, he was saying that on such and such day, mm -hmm. you know, we need to call out of work or this, that, and the third. And I think a lot of people did it. Mm -hmm. A lot of people got fired. Yeah. So you got to look at that and say, you know what? Um, I have to provide for my kids. I need to provide for my wife. I need to provide for my girlfriend, mm -hmm. X, Y, and Z. Right? Mm -hmm. I have these responsibilities I need to take care of. Right. Is this cause, if I do this, right, is it going to make a difference and what is it going to cost me? So, That's true. so I, I should call out of work or I should stay out of work for a week or whatever or to fight this cause. I should bang a black bang suit. Exactly. exactly. Et cetera, yeah. and, and risk losing my home. Right. Risk being out on the streets. Mm -hmm. Risk not being able to put food in my kids' mouths. Like, when, when, when it comes down to right. it, you, you, you kind of start weighing shit out. Like, yo, is it, is it really yeah, that well, important? I, well, the reason why I think you think on that, that, that scale, and I understand your point completely, because I, I, too, myself think on that scale. However, I say it's you, you, the point that you made where it's, it's not so much about, the, it's not so much about uh, what I can lose, mm -hmm. but it's more so about is it worth it to mm -hmm. lose it? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm willing to lose it all if it's worth it. So I need somebody to show me. That is worth it. That is worth it. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying for Colin Kaepernick. I understand that yeah. you may be out of the league because of that. But however, I need you to continue doing what you're doing. And I think you will. And push. And you know what I'm saying? I think you will. And make 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 more noise out there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think that, you know, look, at the end of the day, they're not going, you know what I'm saying? I can't, at the same time, we could call it racism or whatever, whatever. But even still, at the mm -hmm. end of the day, this is my business. This, yeah. is my, this is my bread and butter. I'm a billionaire, but you know, if billionaires... They they competing with each other. Mm -hmm. They trying to be the biggest billionaire. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So in their eyes, it's not about like you. You know what I'm saying? Black white. It's about the bread. And gotcha. if you messing with the bread, you out. Gotcha. Yeah.